Welcome back guys to another video and today we're going to speak about MetaMask and particularly how to buy crypto on MetaMask, how to receive crypto on MetaMask, how to send crypto on MetaMask, how to install MetaMask. So this will be a step-by-step -step guide so you can start your crypto journey. MetaMask is an online wallet and it's also called a hot wallet because it's connected permanently to the internet. If you speak of a cold wallet, then you're speaking of a hardware wallet like a ledger or a treasure, which are offline and not connected to the internet. Since MetaMask is connected to the internet, it's very convenient to use it with different dApps on the Ethereum network. And then you can swap and buy crypto, buy NFTs, sell NFTs, send funds around. You can interact with different protocols on the Ethereum network. MetaMask is the most popular online wallet in crypto. And today we're going to show you how you can install and use it. First, use your browser of your choice. For our case, it is Google Chrome. Then you have to go into the settings and go to extensions and visit the Chrome Web Store. Here we will search for MetaMask and install the official MetaMask application. Add it to Chrome and add the extension. Once the application is downloaded, the installment will start and we will get to the get starting page of MetaMask. We have to agree to a MetaMask terms of use and create a new wallet. If you have a wallet created previously already and you want to just re-import an old wallet, then simply click import an existing wallet. You will have to enter your 12 word C phrase and then you will be ready to go. In our case, we will start with a new wallet. Now we have to decide if we want to send some improvement notifications. So just an analytics to MetaMask, yes or no, let's say no. And then we will create our password for the MetaMask. And then we will create the password for our MetaMask. This password just protects your MetaMask interface. So once you click on the app, then MetaMask will open up and then you have to enter your password to enter your wallet. This is not the seed phrase, so it's not the recovery mode. It's just a protection mode like, let's say, for your credit card to pin. Let's set a new password for our MetaMask. Now we have to click. I understand that MetaMask cannot recover this password for me. Once again, this is just the password, not the seed phrase and create a new wallet. Now you will go get the instruction how to secure your wallet. Please watch it, take your time. Do that not in a rush. So sit at your desk, take some time, note what you have to note, learn what you have to learn, and don't be distracted. Otherwise you could lose your crypto if you make a mistake later on and lose your password or lose your seed phrase. Um, so yeah. All right, secure my wallet recommended. What's the recovery seed phrase? Of course, we need that. That's our secret uh, phrase. So the recovery phrase, which is the seed phrase, is the uh, 12 words which restore your wallet. To learn about the wallet is that the wallet is created on the blockchain and then the funds are also, or the tokens and coins are also stored on the blockchain. So if you want to recreate your wallet, let's say you lost your computer and if you set your password, then nobody should have access to your wallet. So you're all good to go. But you want to still restore your wallet because you want to have your crypto funds. Then you just reinstall MetaMask. And then in the first option, you saw um, restore the wallet. And then you just click that, enter your 12 words, and then you will have your wallet in this new computer uh, with the same funds. So that's how it works with the seed phrase. Important is that you do not show the seed phrase to anyone. This is just for you and yeah just like your wallet that's your wallet the seed phrase okay so make sure that nobody is looking at your screen and you don't save the seed phrase online please store it on a piece of paper physically on a hard copy do not store it online don't take pictures of it because otherwise it will defeat the purpose of the seed phrase the seed phrase uh, means to be offline completely offline not digitally anywhere okay let's start that make sure nobody's looking so let's review this secret phrase and note that down okay i noted my 12 words on a sheet of paper best case scenario would be to note it on two different hard copies and then store it in two different places in case you lose one so you don't lose your wallet entirely if you lose your computer or access to the metamask wallet um, let's proceed click next now metamask will ask us to insert specific words from our seed phrase to just make sure they try to make sure that you actually wrote down your words and do not skip this step so let's put on the words okay click confirm once done and our wallet was created successfully now 
read please metamask cannot recover your secret recovery phrase so that's why it's so important that you note it down on two different hard copies metamask will not ask you for your secret phrase and recovery phrase note that too never trust someone if they ask for your seed phrase they basically try to access your funds never share your secret recovery phrase with anyone or risk your funds being stolen exactly got it let's continue now we have metamask it's a browser extension in your browser so we'll click next you will see it up here in a minute click done and that's it now if we click the puzzle icon up here then we can fix metamask on top and we will see it here now if you close the window then this will be the typical metamask interface you will usually use network switcher here you can switch between different networks but we don't have to do that right now uh, but later on in your crypto journey you will have a lot more like arbitrum optimism and so on this is our account we can create multiple accounts in our metamask so one account holds the cryptos in it and then you can create just a new account add account and then name it coin tracking 2 and then we have a second account where we can have funds so these are accounts inside a wallet you can have unlimitless accounts i think in the wallet i, ha I think the most i have in one wallet is like 30 accounts and then all that is stored in one wallet and if you recover your wallet later on on a different device for example let's say for the metamask app on your phone then all the sub accounts will also be included in that but let's stay in account one and we have the options here to buy and sell crypto send crypto swap crypto bridge crypto and see the portfolio uh, the standard currency in metamask is ethereum and we can import tokens later on if we use different uh, tokens but let's stay with ethereum for now and let's try to get our first funds in our metamask probably you will be on a centralized exchange like binance bitpanda crypto.com and so on where you will buy your first uh, cryptos so make sure that if you want to send uh, ethereum to metamask then that you buy ethereum you cannot send bitcoin to ethereum for example um, and now we will fund our account your account wallet address is the public address which you have to share with people or your exchange and so on if you want to receive something so that's here up here that's the wallet address or the account address if you click it you will copy it now we will go to a different metamask which I, we have two metamask in this case for you to show how to receive funds you will go and hit send in your metamask if you are on your centralized exchange then simply click withdraw and then you will be able to paste your metamask wallet address in the withdrawal address and then receive your funds from the centralized exchange here metamask it's uh, named send and we will send some money to the wallet address which we just pasted in here let's say we sent 0.05 ethereum so about hundred dollars click next then the ethereum network will show us how much it costs us to send this funds so in our case it will cost one dollar fifty five we confirm the transaction and then we wait until the transaction is confirmed on the blockchain this can take up to a few seconds depending on the gas situation and network so how congested the network is right now um, if there are many transactions it is more pricey or it could take longer okay the transaction got confirmed on the blockchain we can go back to our new created metamask and we will see we have 0.05 ethereum in here now we have the option for example to swap uh, from one currency to the next one so let's say we want to swap the ethereum into usdc then we will go and let's swap 0 0.02 so that's about 40 dollars into usdc now metamask will fetch the quote and we will see how much usdc we will get for that okay the estimated gas fee for this swap will be $15 that's pretty pricey but for purpose of demonstration we will sacrifice that now USDC will be um, added to our account so with MetaMask it is like this that if you get a new coin you have to enter the new coin or the coin contract into MetaMask 
so that you can see it in your uh, balance. Let's see, the, the transaction is now pending. And here on tokens, we see now we have USDC, 37 USDC in your account. All right, the transaction got confirmed. We have our USDC. And now we can do the same thing the other way around. So we uh, swap the USDC to Ethereum or we can send USDC to the other wallet. So let's go back to our old wallet and then copy our address, click send and then send it to our address. We can select now USDC since we have USDC in the account. Click maximum, click next and then again send the USDC to our wallet. And the same thing we can do then for Ethereum, for example. So we go in, select Ethereum, select the maximum, hit next, and then confirm. All right, we have successfully sent all the funds to our old wallet back. So now you know how to receive funds and send funds in MetaMask and also trade funds. There are also other protocols you can use and we'll explore later on like Uniswap, PancakeSwap and so on. There's a lot of fun stuff to do in the crypto world. So MetaMask, that's your gateway to get to all the platforms. We hope this video was informative and helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. We have a playlist with a lot of videos about hardware wallets, online wallets, exchanges, API keys, CSVs, how to get your transactions and much more. Check it out. It's good stuff. And please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we're gonna see you next time. Bye-bye.